Hello there, friend. Well, the Lord sent me here today to tell somebody that he's already gone before you. He's already gone before you. He wants to remove the fear and the doubt and that sense of unknowing from you. And he wants to remind you today that he's already gone before you. Now, I could I could refer to a number of different passages I can think of in regard to this, but the one that the Lord spoke to me specifically from, and this is important, I want to read this to you. It's out of 1 Samuel chapter 9, and it's verse 15, and it says, Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear the day before Saul came. The Lord is saying to you today, he's about ready to inform someone of your arrival. In this particular passage, Saul was about ready to be anointed by Samuel as king. And before Saul even showed up, God had spoken in the ear of Samuel. And the Lord was saying, I heard him say, I'm about ready to inform someone of your arrival. Now, some of you, you are, you have been waiting and you've been watching for that open door. Maybe it's a job promotion. Maybe it's a transfer into a new territory or a transition into a new territory. And some of you, it's even a spouse that you've been praying about. Okay, and the Lord says to you today, he's about ready to inform someone of your arrival. But he also said this, okay, he said, you need, this is what I heard the Lord say uh, a couple nights ago. He kept me up literally for like two or three hours. I was struggling with sleeping because I was kind of in that halfway sleep and awake state. And I was just un- so unsettled. And I kept hearing the Lord say, tell them they need to dress for it. Tell them they need to dress for it, okay? Now, that may sound like a simple thing, but it's super important. And he's talking, listen, he's speaking like literally, you need to dress for it, okay? You need to stand in front of the mirror and you need to ask the Holy Ghost, is this appropriate for where you're taking me? Is this appropriate for where you're leading me? Is this appropriate for the next position you are putting me into? The Lord says, as an act of faith, you need to dress for it. Now, he's not talking about going out and and spending a bunch of money on expensive clothes, but he's just talking about using good sense and Holy Spirit unction, okay, to discern what is the way you need to dress, okay, for where you are going, to do it as an act of faith. Don't push it off like, oh, I'll just, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it later and they can deal with it. Because here's what's going to happen. If you're not dressed for it, the Lord says it's going to frustrate the favor that he's putting on you. So like he can speak into someone's ear about you, but you can frustrate that favor by not looking like you are the one. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know that may be hard for some of you to receive, but these are things that the Holy Spirit will give us to walk in wisdom with, okay? Because people often judge a book by its cover. Let's just be honest, they do. So God wants you to look in the mirror and actually allow the Holy Spirit to help you dress for it. And and I have to say this because this is part of it too. Ladies, You ladies, you need to make that, you need to let the Lord help you make that distinction between dressing provocatively and attractively, between dressing seductively and attract. It's okay to dress attractively. You understand what I'm saying? Like to dress nice, to be, to dress well, to, to represent yourself well as a daughter of the most high God. But it's, Another thing to dress provocatively or seductively, and you can frustrate the favor of God if you're dressing the wrong way. God will, God's going to speak into somebody's ear and say, that is your spouse. That is your future spouse, but they may have trouble receiving it if you're not dressed appropriately. So dress, listen, my friend, dress for the person that you want to be attracted to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the Lord is his admonition to you. Your act of faith is to actually dress for it. He says, I'm about ready to inform someone of your arrival. He's already gone before you to prepare the way. And we have to walk that out in faith, my friend. This is why the Israelites, that first generation never went into the promised land 
because they did not know that God had already gone before them. And then 40 years later, when that second generation went into the promised land, they discovered that for 40 years, that that whole land of Canaan, all those enemies had been fearful of them. But that first generation didn't know. They didn't think God has already gone before us. And the Lord is saying to you today, my friend, God is already gone before you. And he's about ready to inform someone of your arrival. Okay, this is the word that the Lord has given me for you today to release. I pray that it blesses you. I know it blesses me. So I just I just speak that over you today. Walk forward in faith, my friend, and I just declare the wisdom of God upon you so you know how to dress appropriately for it. If this has been helpful for you today, please be sure to hit the like button below. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I want to invite you to do so now so we can stay connected. This is all I have for us today, but I look forward to being back again with you soon. God bless.